Good Monday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers, and this is your outlook for January 26, 2015. And of course, we have a winter storm affecting the area once again, and it's generally light snow today. Uh, not a real big deal with uh, with the snowfall accumulations is in terms of, of, of snowfall rates or intensity. But uh, we'll be a dry powdery snow, so we'll uh, pile up quickly in some places. What's going on is here we have a primary area low pressure here that's going to be transferring to a secondary here uh, right offshore. And this area of low pressure is going to come out here like this and head up in this direction. Might even retrograde just slightly and then head up to a uh, position... Uh, just south of Cape Cod and head up into a new wing like this over the next couple of days. It's going to take us time doing this though and, and take us time evol evolving. Uh, but generally light snow will be across our area here today. Temperatures will be cold enough to support that and of course dry fluffy powdery snow uh, which is uh, easier to, uh, to get rid of, uh, easier to shovel but it's also going to pile up a little bit quicker. So you will get some uh, high ratio of snow accumulations in these areas here. About 15 to 1 is the ratio today we're looking at. Going a little bit further here, we're going to watch this coastal storm develop here uh, later today. Here's Monday evening here, and you got some uh, still got the lighter snows here on the interior. You can see it's starting to get to South Jersey at this point with the, uh, with the snows. In the next frame here, you can really see it. That's really starting to get a, uh, get going, get us act together here as this system here now is uh, really taking on shape here and throwing some uh, snow back here. Once this intensifies, it's really going to get the cold conveyor belt going here. And it's just starting here at this point, throwing precipitation all the way back into uh, eastern PA here. This is extreme eastern PA, northern Delaware, New Jersey type of storm, and of course New England. These areas here are going to get hit pretty hard. Uh, from the storm, but if you might go, it might be one of those situations where, you know, out here by Harrisburg, you're just going to get some light snow showers over, overnight on Monday night. Really not uh, a big deal whatsoever, and you're just watching this storm evolve. Here's where we get to uh, uh, very early Tuesday morning, was this thing, when this thing gets just south of Cape Cod here. Very strong area, low pressure. Again, cold conveyor belt uh, going right around this system here, so the big bands uh, in the comma head that's starting to form here, going right into eastern PA, going right into northern New Jersey, central and northern New Jersey here. So these are areas that are expected to get hit the hardest. And of course, if you go over to our weather alert maps uh, section here, which will give you a map like that, we outline this. Of course, it has a legend on that map. This does not have the legend here, but the white here areas here are the areas we're expecting uh, blizzard conditions with, with uh, 22 or greater inches of snow up in this area here. Potential for that, of course, that could be 30 inches, 22 to 30. Uh, some very heavy accumulations here. This area here in yellow, uh, we're looking at 14 to 22, and the purple is the other area that we're expecting to be affected by this storm here, and that would be uh, in the 9 to 12 range. So that's pretty much your area is affected. Extreme eastern Pennsylvania, um, basically the northern half of Delaware, and all of New England up here, New Jersey and New England. So that's what we're expecting to get hit by the coastal here. Uh, the rest of it uh, is going to be just some snow shower activity, but those snow showers will add up, like I did say today, with those higher ratio snows in addition to what fell overnight. Okay, here's the next frame. Here's uh, or here's us uh, still, still looking at Tuesday morning. Still some uh, very heavy stuff going on here, and this storm is actually retrograding now because it's caught. It has been captured, and uh, you have the cold conveyor box continuing to funnel over the top of the comma head here getting some very heavy uh, snowfall here from uh, eastern PA into New Jersey. So some pretty good snows here in the same areas getting hit over and over again. But again, areas of the west, look at the sharp gradient here cut off. Really not much out here at Hutton State College. The sun might come out, you know, so it can be one of those deals. And then finally the system starts to pull away as we get into Tuesday evening here and get out of the, out of, uh, out of the picture. And then we're going to have a couple days, or like at least one day here on, on uh, Wednesday where the high pressure is going to be controlling you know, bright sunny skies. And then another clipper system is going to come down here, dive down from south to the south from the Great Lakes. This one here, not carrying, carrying as much moisture with it, uh, be a quick hitter, maybe an inch or two of snow, maybe three across the northern areas here. Uh, but then that's it. And then you have late development offshore, not one sitting right down here coming up like we're having today. This might give some more snow up here to New England, but this will be too late for us, we really think, Thursday night and fr early Friday here. So that's the time frame for that, for this clipper system to come through. And after that, uh, we get cold again for the weekend. Uh, Super Bowl Sunday right now, you might have a uh, few snow showers come through. This is just another funnel bundler coming through here. Uh, cold front that's going to bring some, uh, you know, reinforcing shot of cold air, but nothing that's a really a big deal we're looking at right now. 
for Super Bowl Sunday. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Martrich, and that is your outlook for January 26, 2015. Have a great Monday.